Okay, peeps, welcome back. So today I'm going to be giving you guys my portfolio dividend income reveal for the month of August. It is currently September 1st, which means that the month of August is over. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to give a quick rundown of all the different positions I got paid from, and then we'll go over the numbers. So I got paid from RYLD, QYLD, PFLT, PDI, Verizon, UVV, TLTW, Beto, Tesla, uh, TXN, and PSCC, although this is a couple pennies, I don't currently have a position in this, um, USOI, EFC, RA, RYLD again, and QYLD again, that actually happens with these covered call ETFs, sometimes you get paid twice in the same month. ACP, SVOL, BSTZ, CLM, CRF, RIV, OPP. And then over on Robinhood, I got paid from OARC, CLIP, Tesla, Apply. And on Weeble, I got paid from... I Well, actually, let's take a look. So that way I'm not guessing here. So scroll over to dividends. I got paid from... Clip, OARC, Apply, NVIDIA, and then Clip again. So let's get into it. So I'm going to go back here to the first page, and I'm going to go ahead and add up the numbers so you guys can see this for yourself. Uh, let's see, 957, 557, 944, 1163, 527, scroll on over to the next page, you got 262, if I can get this calculator thing to work right, uh, 159, 7253, 43, or 431 26. We'll just go ahead and add a couple other pennies in there. Keep it simple. 399, 539. I think this thing here, as you guys can see, I got a dividend deduction from USOI. I think what happened is they accidentally paid me twice. So they had to deduct that amount from the initial uh, distribution. You can see here on the first one. So that's probably what ended up happening with that, um, would be my guess. You got 502, 927, 526. Let's go ahead and scroll up here. So next one would be from ACP, 1343. 48 cents from SVOL, 530. I got about a dollar fifty from the uh, Cornerstone funds. I actually have to beef those back up. There's a reason why I haven't done that yet. Um, I'm focused more on increasing my yield max funds right now in Clip, um, but intend to spread that money out to these other funds here soon. So one hundred two forty six cents, eleven dollars and six cents, and eleven dollars and seven cents. So just from this portfolio alone, I got paid $621.12 in the month of August. Now let's go ahead and go over to Robinhood. Um, I actually did not get paid from Apple or Tesla on this platform. And the reason being is because I picked up these shares after the X date. However, I did get paid from Clip. As you guys can see here under the history, I'll click show more. It shows all of my different purchases. And here's the dividend. So I did actually get paid on the actual payment date, which was yesterday. So that was nice. I didn't have to wait five days this time. As you guys know from my last video, I had to wait five days to get paid from Clip on Weeble. So that was obviously not good. Uh, let's see, 90, 97.81, 81 from Clip on here and if I go back, go to the next one, OARC also paid me this month. The only thing that I got paid from OARC was basically the amount of money that I um, 
I forget which one this was from. I think this was from Apple. I'm not sure, but I basically um, reinvested the amount. Well, what I told you guys before is that I was flipping the dividend payouts from clip to yield max and yield max to clip and so on, so on. So I think that's where this came from. I don't remember, but that's, you know, for a different video, that's not what this video is about. So 625, go back to the investing tab here. So those are all my current positions on this platform. And if I go over here to the dividends tab for this platform, which is Weeble, you guys can see everything I got paid on Weeble. So 95.69. I don't really understand why this tab right here isn't staying popped up and it keeps going back to the one month, but we'll just go with it. So 752, 778. And gotta go back to the tab here. So we got 105.77 and 147.67. 105.77. And 147.67. Okay, so in the month of August, between all three of these platforms that I'm using, I got paid in passive income $1,089.61. Um, the reason why I actually have these two extra platforms Robinhood and Webull is because all of the new yield max funds and the clip funds are available on these platforms. They are not available on M1 currently. The only one that is available on M1 as of right now, as of yesterday, when I most recently checked is Tesla. So this is my passive income for the month of August. This is actually not my total extra income for the month of August. So I actually made an extra $786.21 from taking profit on some of these positions and also swing trades. Unfortunately, until I get Excel on this computer, I can't show that to you guys. I only have Excel on my other computer. So that's where I had to pull the numbers up. When I do get Excel on this computer, I'll be able to show you guys my spreadsheet for the entire year for all the profit I've taken over the year and on a monthly basis and all that jazz. But in short, I made an extra $508.53 this month alone from swing trading stocks and an extra $277.68 from taking profits on my dividend stock portfolio positions as they were moving up into the market. So that comes out to $786.21. So if I add $786.21, comes out to $1,875.82 in total and extra income for the month of August. This is the reason why I mentioned to you guys why it's so important to take profit as the market's moving up, at least in times of uncertainty right now, because it goes up, it goes down, goes up, goes down. It's possible to make money in both passive income and taking gains during those consolidation phases. If we were in a, a true bull market where things are just going a wall, everything is going to the moon, everything's at all time highs, then that's a different story. You know, maybe at that point I would want to hold my positions and not sell as much um, or be very picky about what I sell and what I'm willing to buy on the dip. So um, one last little piece I wanted to bring up to you guys. Uh, one of the trades that I made profit on this month was Evigo. It was at the start of the month. You guys can see the amount here. Um, if I click on it, you can see on the graph here, it happened pretty much on the second or the third. That's where I took profit and I got out of my position at that point and open doors another one. You guys can see right here on the 25th. You can also see on my previous video that I made about the close of open door and the reason why I got out of that. Uh, I did take profit right here as well on open door. So those are my swing trades. A lot of the dividend portfolio positions that I took profit on was in Viddy. And I'm going to show you guys why. So in, in Viddy, see if I can find it here in Viddy. As you guys can see, this thing has pretty much just gone straight up since it hit its swing low here. And 
I've been taking profit all the way up on this thing and repositioning it back in for the passive income because we really don't know where the top is going to be here. It could just sell off from here. It could keep going higher. We honestly don't know. So anyways, um, there is one last thing I wanted to show you guys. And that is the dividend tracker portfolio. As you guys can see, I have a cost basis, roughly 32580 And my September income, it states here, is projected to be $1,118 for the month of September. Dividend yield, 41.7%. Yield on cost, 3 point, or 38.3%. And here is my current holdings. Um, the holdings that I actually increased the most during the month of August is Beto. Uh, bought another five shares of that clip. I increased my position pretty substantially on that. I think like maybe around 100, 150 shares. Um, NVIDIA, I'm pretty much flat on that as of currently. I'm not currently positioned into NVIDIA, but I will be buying back in on Monday before the X date. So this is what it's going to be. I basically did a forward estimate of what that's going to look like. Uh, Oark, I increased the position on that a lot. It's up, I'd say at least 100 shares at this point. Um, and, uh, USOI is still flat. I've kind of been taking profit and also buying back in on this one because oil's just been all over the place. I want to have exposure to oil and make passive income and money off of it. So this is an indirect way to do it. And, um, actually I've also increased my Apple a little bit. As you guys saw before, I only had 14 shares. Now I have 23.47. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you all later. Peace.